using subsets of data in your data set serves a few different purposes. First, it can help you guard against data entry errors. Second, it can help you to keep your data organized. And third, it can help you to more easily focus on the specific part of your data that you wish to analyze. Let's say you wanted to focus in on some hockey data, specifically data for the world champion Chicago Blackhawks. But when you open your data set, you find that there's clutter of all of the other NHL teams and their players. By using the define variable sets function, you can focus in and isolate those Blackhawk players without having to create separate data sets. So here we have some fake NHL stats. And although we want to focus on our Chicago stats only, you can see here at the top that there is statistics from several NHL teams. And it makes it pretty hard to focus in on those players. So what we can do to really hone in is go to define variable sets. Under utilities, define variable sets, you can select your Chicago players in the list on the left and go ahead and move them over to the right. Name your subset, Blackhawk data only. Go ahead and hit the add set button. And you can repeat this over and over again and get several different subsets like, like so uh, from different teams. And all you have to do is select the appropriate teams from the list on the left. Very important, make sure you hit the close button. Otherwise, those changes you've made, the data sets you've added, will not save. Now, you'll notice that when you hit close, all those players are still present. To activate your data sets, simply go to utilities and then use variable sets. And this dialog box will appear. You can see here by default the all variables and new variables selections are checked. Go ahead and check the Blackhawks data, uncheck the previous two, hit OK, and as you can see we have only Blackhawks data isolated. To bring back your other variables, go back to utilities and select the show all variables. On a side note, you can also select multiple subsets of data. You could select a few Blackhawks and Red Wings or any other combination of teams from your data. Now to make this process easier, you could also use the menu toolbar, uh, and if you use this function often, it may be useful to add these buttons um, as you see them listed here, define variable sets, uh, use variable sets, and show all variables. Uh, it may be useful to add them to your toolbar by going to view, toolbars, and customize. Once in the customize menu, hit the edit button, and then under utilities, go ahead and select each of the buttons and drag it down to the menu bar below. Once you're finished, hit continue, and those items should be available in your toolbar in the future. So, so thank you for watching the Stats Make Me Cry podcast. This is Jeremy Taylor, the Stats Make Me Cry guy. Don't forget to check out our website at statsmakemecry.com for useful blogs, user forums, and some fun stuff as well. See you next time. I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. In fact, I think it is awesome.